This is Ryan Abraham, Dan Weber, USCFootball.com, instant analysis here on Dado Field. Friday practice, short practice, Dan. They did no pads, and they're going to do some game preparations for tomorrow. Maybe you can talk about that. Well, they're heading to the hotel. Uh, they're doing meetings. Uh, some of the guys that normally get massages the night before the game are going to get their massages. So they're some of the offensive linemen <laughs> kind of excited <laughs> about that. Uh, Lane said mostly just to practice uh, meetings and, and what have you for guys that have never done them. But uh, other than that, uh, you know, it's going to be all mock uh, kind of a game weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, uh, what have you. So uh, uh, we actually had a little Saturday night fever going for us yeah. there over there. So, uh, but it, uh, yeah, I think uh, this is the hardest part of I think preseason is those last couple of days. You're you're really in the next week thinking about your opener. You're past all the stuff you've had to do in fall camp, and you're kind of here in sort of limbo for a couple of days. So there's two days left. You got Saturday uh, morning practice, 11:30. Sunday, I believe, about 3:30 or so. Monday off for the first day of classes. Speaking of first day of classes, there's going to be someone in class. There's some some news, breaking news, uh, yeah. broke today from practice. Maybe you can talk about that. Well, uh, we've had a whole preseason of no news, no new. No, you know, you could ask the same question every day, and you got no answer. Today, there was an answer, an actual answer uh, in terms of uh, players and eligible and who's going to be here. It turns out, I think the word had been like with Marquis Simmons that maybe, maybe not till the end of the season, maybe he'd be eligible. No, he's eligible right now. He was working hard today, working with Coach Scotty Hazleton. They need another linebacker. He is eligible. Brian Balcom has been basically on the edge the whole time here. He's eligible. Isaiah Wiley is not eligible. Uh, Lane said he's not sure, you know, when, when he's asked the question, is he going to stay in school or what's he going to do? Lane's uh, comment was he wants to play football. Will that mean uh, dropping down, uh, you know, a level and going somewhere else, going to junior college and then, you know, hoping you get drafted? He, uh, you know, he said th there's no answer to that. But Isaiah Wiley's not going to be uh, able to play. Marquise Simmons is. Certainly a, a fairly immediate impact on special teams with Marquise. Certainly. I actually talked to Scotty Hazelton after practice. He said Marquis is probably going to come in and play Will Linebacker for him. Significant loss of Isaiah Wiley. He is a guy that had started. Uh, one last thing, Dan. They are doing more Hawaii prep. They're running the ones against the scout team. Yes, Lane Kiffin about that. Yeah, and, and Lane, I think the answer was a really good one. And, and it's the kind of thing that you like it when Lane learns. I mean, this is the same team. And somewhat the same staff that was out in the parking lot in Hawaii two years ago <laughs> after seeing a report on the news on Honolulu on Friday night. They thought, uh oh, does that look like the pistol? We better go out and change our defense. Okay, like today said, we're concentrating on us. We're probably not going to know exactly what, uh, you know, new coach Norm Chow and transitional players and all that at Hawaii, what exactly they're going to do. So he said the focus is going to be on, especially on defense, is uh, us doing what we do and doing it well and not really trying to guess what Hawaii's going to do because that would be a guess. So uh, I think that's a good, good answer and probably won't take anything that they see on, uh, on news reports and uh, try to come up with a scouting report. Sounds like a good plan. All right, thanks, Dan, very much. This is Ryan Abraham, Dan Weber, uscfootball.com, instant analysis.